Me like movies. I gotta start over. Me like movies. Me like food. We ain't like dishing a movie. <laughs> me like movies. Me like food. We ain't dishing dish a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Me like movies. Me like food. We, we dishing, dishing on movies. We are dishing on movies. This week's inspiration is DreamWorks movie The Crudes, coming out soon in theaters. Ah! 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 We're gonna do some croutons based off of the crudes. You know, croutons one of those things that really can jazz up a salad, especially if they're homemade. And I'll tell you, I've worked in a lot of restaurants, and one of the things that makes it a restaurant quality, delicious salad are well seasoned homemade croutons. So we're gonna show you how to do that today. Let's do it. Balsamic vinegar, olive oil, Dijon mustard, salt and pepper, red wine vinegar, a little more olive oil, gorgonzola cheese, grated carrots. Napa cabbage, butter lettuce, and day old bread. Day old bread? It's happened to all of us. You buy bread for sandwiches or a French loaf for, for spaghetti. You eat what you want and then the rest goes stale. Yep. And so what do you do? Throw it away, I guess. You throw it away. But this is the perfect bread to use for homemade croutons. The mm -hmm. reason being mm -hmm. is that we're gonna toss it in olive oil to soak up that fruity flavor, ah. and then we're gonna crisp it up in, the, in a high degree oven. So ah. it's gonna get super crunchy. Okay, cool. And you can, if you wanna put a spice mix on there, you can sprinkle salt and pepper, oregano, dried basil, thyme, any kind of flavor you want on that crouton, you can do it. So I haven't seen the movie yet, but I love the trailer. It looks pretty funny. Um, yeah. It's the same people that did uh, How to Train Your Dragon. Which was so cute. So awesome. And I also really love the premise of it. You know, like get out to your cave, try something new. Yeah. I mean, I don't know about you, but I have a lot of people who are scared of trying new things. Oh my gosh. So many of them, especially food-wise, so many of my friends do not want to try anything new. New is always bad. Never not be afraid. Ugh. Go ahead and let's season these croutons. And this is the secret to why homemade croutons are so good. We have about a half a loaf of bread. It ends up being around four or so cups. So we're going to add three tablespoons of olive oil. And if you want a little bit more kind of buttery, greasy, but I mean that in a good way, you can always add more, but that's my general measurement. And then you want to kind of toss it around to help get it all coated with that olive oil. If you don't have olive oil, could you do melted butter? You could definitely do melted butter. We want to make sure we get this nice and tossed. We can distribute that olive oil into all the pieces. If you look, it's on my hands too. So as I'm tossing it, I'm helping to make sure each little crouton is getting a nice coating of olive oil. A little bread massage, huh? A little bread massage. Oops. Alright, so now what you want to do, we have our bread even lay on a cookie sheet. It gets crispy. Every piece should be super crispy. And Dale, if you want to sprinkle with a little salt and pepper, oh that's about gosh. two pinches. Now we're going to toss it to make sure all that salt and pepper is coated. And this is when you would add either the rosemary or whatever other dry herbs you wanted if exactly. you want. Exactly. So if you wanted oregano or dry thyme or any kind of herb. Even Parmesan cheese actually. Some grated Parmesan cheese. Parmesan? What is that? Alright, so we'll go ahead and get this in the oven. And meanwhile we'll make a really easy vinaigrette. Perfect. Perf. We're doing three tablespoons of balsamic. See how it's dark? Mm -hmm. It's very sweet. And this is a little bit more acidic, red wine vinegar, okay? Okay. All right, and then we're gonna add a quarter cup of oil. We're gonna add some Dijon mustard, a pinch of pepper, okay? And I'm gonna put a pinch of salt in there too. You wanna shake it? Sure. Shake it like your mama made you? <laughs> I don't know why my mama made me with that shake. <laughs> I don't know. Take it out and shake it. Shake it. Shake it. So it's been 20 minutes at 375, so we're gonna pull these crude tons right out the oven. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, looking good. Oh, they smell so good. They look crunchy. <laughs> I love them! So it's time to assemble the salad. Assemble the salad. So I'm just gonna start dumping things in here. Yeah. yeah. And again, we use whatever we had in our house. So if you wanna put broccoli in here or sugar snap peas or whatever, whatever you have in your kitchen. The secret is this really great vinaigrette and those homemade croutons. You want to put some of the dressing in. I'd say let's go with half of that. You can also use your hands. That's another thing they do in restaurants. They'll toss it, but yeah. you know, 
I mean, I'm not a caveman, so <laughs> I'm gonna use forks. Some of your best tools in the kitchen, though, are the hands. You saw me massaging those croutons. Oh yeah, I was envious. She got in there. So envious of those croutons. <gasps> Looks good. It's so easy. A caveman could do it. <laughs> well, a caveman did do it. Oh yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm loving it. Hey, let us know if you guys try it. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. We are on movies. I'm calling it the end.